to a team like this, that's not bad. And it's the first game of the season, so you expect them to be better tonight. Utah and Roby jumping it up, and possession goes to the ledge of Slam. That would have been a great way to start off the home schedule. The other way, Josh Jackson. The Hustle made the playoffs last year for the first time in franchise history. And they did so by winning five straight games to close out the regular season. Matt Mooney not a part of the team last year. Free throws are one for two. That's going to be really hard to adjust to. You know, that's a, I remember back whenever I was playing in, you know, middle school ball or AAU, that's how they would do games like that, you know, one for two or one for three. Peter to go. Probably a little bit of jitters in the first home game, but once that clears up, they'll be good to rock. Utah from the top of the key. He had 23 points last night. Roby from the corner, and the legends are on the board. Gets the penetration, easy layups, just like Ray Mays is showing there. Another three, and this time it's Matthias. Here he is finding Reeves. Matthias the rebound, he keeps the possession alive. Mason the lob. Brown the finish! Whoa. And that's a good job there by Mason. That's just good, that's just good recognition by the point guard there. And is trapped. He's able to pivot out of it. Baseline J for Utah. It against him whenever he was with OKC in 2015. He's a baller. Nate Mason off the dribble. Legends reach. Mason, the floater. Second chance. That's, that's tough. Mason drops it off. Matthias. Brown the putback. They were down 6 nothing to start the game. Matt Mooney trying to cut into the hustle deficit, and he does. Brown. Matthias, corner three. Offensive rebound, Antonius Cleveland <laughs> with those stretch of arms Get throwing me. it down. End up losing the ball game. Mason. Burrell to Holman. And he knocks that one down with Thornton closing out. Told him he reminds me a little bit of, of Griffin. They used to play with the Texas Legends in 14-15. Well, there's Thornton following up the miss. Brown. Oh, nice step through and the foul. <laughs> that's a big boy. And that's a tough move. An eight second difference, game clock to shot clock. Holman left alone from the wing. He hits. That's two of them. They can catch and shoot too. A lob. Oh, that's not what you want if you're the legends uh, as Thornton springs free. But it's the return of Isaiah Roby, and here he is guarding Nino Johnson, who's able to finish with the foul. Third quarter, and you're up by 10, and you keep pushing that lead, you'll win this ball game. Update, if you're leading and you keep increasing the lead, you increase your chances to win. Understatement. Oh, nice block by Holman. This one. Reeves. Finds a cutting Burrell. That's a good pass. Iowa versus Penn State. Now it's Mooney. Oh, nice hop into the lane, creating space and finishing. His pass to a cutting Reeves is behind him. Two on one. Johnson has it stripped away by Mason. That's really good defense. Mason finds Holman with two hands. Another one. Another one. So Brown back in the game off the bench after a really strong first quarter. Mason the three. He knocks it down, and see, you see, want that for him. He's earned that shot. Drag screen right there for an easy jump shot for Mason. He can knock that down. Hannah's and the foul. Over so far tonight. That's a big difference. That's a very big difference. You know, you, you get more possessions that way. It's all about getting more opportunities to shoot the ball. Trying to cross over. He does successfully. Lots of space. And he lays it in, and George Galanopoulos wants a timeout. You would be that guy. <laughs> With Tam Mays back in the game. He helps get the offense going, and it's Matthias who finishes the possession with a lefty layup. So, Matthias under the hoop finds an open Reeves. What a distribution. Because at the end of the day, those have a chance to go in. You don't have a, you don't have a chance to score if you're turning the ball over. Reeves sticking... 
Bertan Mays gets his own miss. Blocked that time by Jack. That's all right. Another offensive rebound. Teague blocked by Reeves. Jackson gets it back, and he's fouled on the way up by Cleveland. Then, you, you know, what also comes into play is they just played a game last night, so their legs are gone. Both teams' legs are gone, but you got to figure out a way to score the ball. And Reeves does just that. And on 6 of 18 shooting. Jackson open in the corner. That's nine points now for Josh Jackson. We're tied up at 48. Matthias working against Jackson. Fields rises up. Reeves offense, a rebound. He puts it back and is fouled. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Jackson falls away, hits off the window. Is that on purpose? That's a tough shot. I don't know. <laughs> but he's hit his last two shots. Mason floats it in off the window. See, that's really good. Utah will try a triple. And the Iowa Hawkeye, who had 23 points last night, hammers that one. He's got seven. Rebound Jackson. Four on two. Up ahead. Caver lays it in. It's all right, Booker. I'm getting there. Rattan Mays. Reeves. He hits the three off the feed from Rattan Mays. You know, you still want the ball back if you just knocked one down. And Burrell did his best to try and get him the ball, even though. Not hitting good shots. Well, what do you make of this so uh, far? It's a little bit of all of it. But the main thing is they're still in the game. And they got to get that guy going. Dakota Mathias. And so that adjusts minutes. Now some people are playing more minutes than they played, playing less minutes. You know, so you just got to get on a different routine, which can become hard. I mentioned Hannah's shooting the ball four for 13 tonight, just one of four from three. Reeves gets the steal. Here come the legends. Right down the lane, left-handed finger roll. Attacking the basket downhill, and he's left-handed. Those are the hardest players to guard. Booney hits the long two over Brown. Legends 0-1, trying to even the score. Brown... Unable to complete the lob with Thornton maintaining good position. And Jackson lobs to Thornton the other way. Three-point lead for the hustle. Timeout legends. I appreciate that. How corny is that? That's some candy corn after Halloween. Josh Jackson and years ago was the fourth overall pick. He's turned it on since. You know, he's got a lot of talent. Can't seem to find the basket, can he? He's getting good looks, though. Hannah's. Nothing but net there, and it's a nine-point lead for the hustle. George Galanopoulos with a timeout, 6.26 to go. You went 21 and 25, shooting threes around the perimeter. It's pretty impressive. There's the lob. Jackson goes up to catch it, keeps it alive. Johnson with Brown in his face finishes. Mason gets the screen from Brown. Shoots over Johnson, and he hits. So Nate Mason be fans of Matt Mooney after... He helped lead Texas Tech to a magical season last year. What have you seen from him? You know, he's just, he plays at his own speed. He's got a real good feel for the game. Here's Mason. Right down the lane. No one stops him, and he finishes with the right. Hannah's with 19 points, but 6 of 18 from the floor. Mason gets into the paint, and he hits. From the floor for Mason, he's got 15 points off the bench. Teague working against him. And that one good from the elbow. Mason gets it to go. Another one. Value those free throws because some are and ones, some are two for ones. Burrell with the steal. Leading the break. Good close down by Buchanan, but Matthias steps over and hits the trifecta. Now they're going to start trying to find him. He'll probably get his confidence going. Johnson, and he matches. In past years, the legends have had guys like Justin Detman and Manny Harris, Pierre Jackson, who could just let it fly and get you back into the game with the blink of an eye. Who's that guy for the legend? One of those guys that can do that. You know, Matthias can as well, but Mays is the guy that can get hot and, and get you a bunch of buckets, you know, in the span of no time. Had a good basketball player in Tony Sleeve. Mason working against Caver. Stops. 
fires and hits. Oh boy, Nate Mason. Tam Mays steps back and hits over Johnson. Take a break. So you said it, Booker. This guy's got to get going. Mason March called the timeout. The Legends cut their deficit in half. Some pressure, but Thornton able to lay it in. A nice find by Moody. The sideline, but gave himself a little bit of space to make that pass. Or Tam Mays. You said he can get going. That's back-to-back -back threes. Reeves giving Teague space. Tries to throw a cross-court pass. It's intercepted by Roby. Four on two. Rattan Mays lays it in, and the Legends within two. Roby to feed Rattan Mays for the easy layup. Jackson loses it. Reeves, Roby, we're tied. See how it works. You move the ball. Spin and step through, but throws it to Mooney. Teague, he hits. Marcus Teague with his second three. He's got 10 points. You no, know, you make the big plays during critical moments. you got to do that if you want to make it to the next level. Cleveland, the drive, the layup. Both teams playing on a back-to-back. -back. Both teams with adverse travel schedules. Who's got the legs here down the stretch? Teague, the lay-in. He had legs there driving and a timeout. Roby underneath, blocked by Jackson. Just giving it away. Hey, I love Malcolm. You know, he loves this franchise and gives everybody that smile whenever you see him. You, it's, it's, it's about marketing, you know. And Malcolm, I'll tell you, he does a really good job at that and gets people in this arena to come watch the Texas Legends play. The Legends were tied. Just under seven minutes left to go. This is the three underneath. The Legends almost picked it away. Jackson, T, corner. That might have been the dagger, but Utah with a putback. He's got 17. Reeves. Roby left alone. All right, there's three. Legends down by 11. Almost cutting it in half. Utah goes right by Reeves. There, he created an angle. He used his length as a 13-point lead. Roby, they're daring him to shoot a three, and he's hit another back-to-back. -back. Mason, Burrell against his former mates, gives it up to Matthias. Hits the three. So Dakota Matthias maybe with a little sweeter taste. The hustle, dribble it out. And back-to-back -back nights, back-to-back -back wins for the Memphis Hustle. They win tonight 118-105.